Hey guys, I'm back with my six month post-op VSG update. I haven't been on here in a while. I think the last update I did was uh, a three month update. Just, I'm not really consistent on um, YouTube because you know, I have a life too and I have a lot of things going on trying to maintain my journey and it's just been a lot going on. So I'll jump right in. I don't want to make this video over 30 minutes long, but I do have a lot to talk to you guys about. So, I made my six month surge anniversary on Friday. Today is Sunday the 15th. I made my six months on Friday the 13th. So, I am officially today 96 pounds down. Yes, 96 pounds down. I am super, super excited. I've been working really, really hard and um, it's been ups and downs but i am happy to say that i am four pounds away from 100 pounds lost okay so what i'm doing now is i weigh in every sunday so um for the from last sunday to this sunday i lost 3.8 pounds so 3.8 pounds this week last week i lost 9.2 pounds which is a bunch for me because i am known to stall a whole lot so i had um posted something on instagram for you guys to ask me your questions and um, I will go ahead and answer them because I am on like almost every social media site I'm on Facebook I'm on Instagram I'm on snapchat um, and I'm on YouTube and I get a lot of different questions so I just said you know everybody send me in their questions so I can answer them more in depth before I get to that I'm just gonna tell you guys um, a little bit about what's been going on um i was stalling a lot i will when i say a lot i mean a lot i will lose a couple of pounds and then i'll be stalled again for two weeks and i couldn't figure out what was going on because i do go to the gym i do eat right everything i was doing was like perfect so i didn't understand what was going on so i noticed that i was um really bloated a lot of the times so since i was bloated i'm like what is making me bloated so then I stopped. I already don't drink milk, but I said, you know what? I'm going to eliminate dairy. I had stopped eating cheese for like a week, not purposely, but just because none of the food that I had planned for that week um, dealt with cheese. So then I said, oh, I might as well just keep going because that's the hardest dairy for me to give up. So then I said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to give up all dairy. I mean, butter, everything. And then I wanted to give up eggs as well because I was eating boiled eggs and I... I mean, I had the worst case of gas ever. So I let those things go and I promise you, as soon as I let those things go, I started dropping weight like crazy. No more bloating, no more stomach pains, nothing like that. And I also up my protein. So I wanna talk about that for a minute and then I will answer the questions. And then I'll talk about anything that the questions didn't answer. So for my protein, this is what I'm drinking now. I hope the camera's focused. This is the Muscle Milk Pro Series Non-Dairy Shake. I looked for a non-dairy shake because like I said, I am non-dairy now. I am not vegetarian, I am not vegan, but I kind of follow a vegan lifestyle a little bit, like I don't eat any dairy. So I look for vegan products because vegan products don't have any dairy in it. So this is 32 grams of protein. 32 grams of protein, two grams of fat, seven carbs four fiber so and 160 calories so what i do is i drink this after i come home from the gym so i go to the gym at 6 a.m in the morning uh, between 6 a.m and 6 30 a.m i spend about two hours in the gym before i go to the gym i drink a protein energy drink to fuel my workout that's 20 grams of protein when i get home i mix this with a Starbucks black coffee and have my protein coffee I usually drink the vanilla but they were all out so I had to do what I had to do and get the chocolate which it just tastes like a chocolate milk once you mix it with the coffee so by let's say 10 o'clock a.m. I have had 52 grams of protein already in since I've start doing this my weight has been coming off I up my protein so I'm probably getting a hundred grams of protein or close to a hundred grams of protein per day as far as water, I also up my water. I am drinking a gallon of fluids a day. I count my coffee in my fluids and I count my tea in my 
fluids as well. So I am getting over a gallon of water and fluids per day. I'm telling you guys, it makes all the difference. I was stalling before. I have not stalled. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, but since I've been doing this in two weeks, I've lost 13 pounds. So I've been doing that. What, um, yeah, so I'm going to keep on with these protein shakes. I do have some protein bars that I have been eating. Um, I've been eating the Premier Protein Fiber, the crispy ones. Those are 15 grams of protein, and if I'm not mistaken, 7 grams of fiber. I want to say between 150 and 200 calories per bar. But once I've been eating those, I noticed I was getting a lot of bloating. I checked the label. It does consist of dairy. I didn't think about that when I bought them, so I probably won't buy them again. Well, I probably will, but they'll be for my husband. I'm not going to uh, really mess with them anymore. So what else? Another reason that I've kind of had a hiatus from YouTube, I've just been dealing with a lot. This, if you're on a VSG journey, you understand that this lifestyle can have highs and lows. You can be happy one minute, you can be depressed the next minute. Um, so yeah, I had to just take a step back. I even took a hiatus from um, Snapchat and Instagram at a certain point. My father had a heart attack. I was dealing with that. Um, yeah, so I've just been dealing with some personal issues, but everything's cleared up now and I'm back. I don't want to tell you guys when I'll be back with another uh, video because I honestly don't know. Um, like I said, I am six months post-op. Now let me get into the questions that you guys asked. I'll start with uh, my Instagram. And then I have some questions that I just thought of on my own. Somebody said, what do you eat like from the start of the day to the end of the day? And also, do I have the condition PCOS? So I want to talk about PCOS first. Yes, I do have PCOS. One of my, my gynecologists did let me know that when I was pregnant with my second child. So I found that out. My daughter's three. So I found that out almost four years ago. Um... I don't really know what else to say about it because, um, yeah, I have it, but it doesn't, I guess it affects everybody different because I am able to have kids. I know a lot of people that suffer with PCOS have infertility issues and I don't. I have two children, um, ages six and three. Um, what do I eat? Like I said, I do a lot of protein, so I don't really mess with carbs at all. Um, I eat a lot of turkey meat, bacon, pork bacon, uh, beef jerky. Beef jerky is like a main thing for me. Like if I'm lacking or slacking on my protein, I will go and get me a bag of beef jerky. I will eat that and I can get in like a lot of protein with that because if you never paid attention, beef jerky packs a lot of protein so I do snack on that a lot I always have some um, I eat vegetables I eat like spinach kale I usually saute it with garlic um, I eat shrimp I eat fish um, I'm trying to get away from the pork bacon I haven't had it in about two weeks so I'm trying to just do lean meats like fish shrimp uh, turkey Chicken is okay, but sometimes I have an issue with chicken. Chicken just sits really heavy. I can eat it more so if it's shredded, but if it's any type of other way, it kind of sits really heavy. So yeah, that's what I eat. I do not drink anything besides water with crystal light, um, coffee with no sweetener, and I sweeten with stevia in the raw, and um, I drink tea and um, I drink my protein shakes. That is the only thing I drink. I do not drink soda, I do not drink juice. Um, how often do you work out? I work out five to six times a day. Usually I just work out Monday through Friday. Um, what I do at the gym, I do at least one hour of cardio, which will either be um, the elliptical, um, I think that other machine is called ARC Trainer. Stairmaster or I run. Yes, I can run now. So that is an NSV. I can run two miles, well over two miles without stopping. Um, I run a mile in about 12 to 13 minutes. And how long was your recovery after surgery? 
my as far as my pain i would say about a month then i start feeling coming back to myself i had a lot of gas pains after surgery even though i was walking it out it still was trapped and then it had moved to my back in a couple of weeks after surgery so i dealt with that pain as far as pain from um like to the point where i would need pain meds I didn't take pain meds, I think, a week after surgery. I think three days after surgery, I never took another pain medication. How did you make it through your pre-op diet? My pre-op diet was not rough. Um, I only had to do liquids, I believe, for a day, the day before surgery or two days before surgery. Other than that, my doctor had me on a high protein, no carbs, no starch diet for two weeks yeah two weeks um my surgery is on october my surgery is in october they want me on shakes and one small salad a day with no dressing i don't i don't know really what to say about that because um like i said i do know other people that have had to do shakes um, for their pre-op diet and liquids for like two weeks as far as salad I don't know what to say about that because my surgeon did not let me have any um, lettuce or like leafy vegetables coming up to surgery because I guess it's harder to digest and they wanted to make sure that it was out of my system I also the day before surgery had to drink um, a full bottle of magnesium citrate let's see and that's just to make you go to the restroom if you don't know what that is and it clears your system out the next question have you had any hair loss yes I did experience hair loss at about three months my hair is not coming out anymore and my hair did grow back it just kind of shed it a lot thinned out a lot but um, it did grow back I do want to tell you guys I do not take my vitamins um, I'm not telling you to not take your vitamins, but me personally, I don't take my vitamins. They were making me really sick at one point, but I actually do want to start taking them um, because I noticed that I do have low energy and I do get really, really cold. So I probably have really low iron. <clears throat> Somebody said, how much protein, calories, and carbs to have each day? How do I know how much protein, calories, and carbs to have each day? Well, when you have, usually when you have this surgery, your doctor or nutritionist tells you um, how much of those things that you should have. I think that we're supposed to have between, I want to say 60 to 90 grams of protein. Uh, calories, I believe 800. Carbs, I don't remember what they said about carbs besides stay away from them. So... I do stay away from them and if I have some I make sure that it's not over 50 grams in a day and that is not every day um, yeah so let me see okay some other questions that I wrote down that um, I have been asked in the past loose skin as of right now 96 pounds down I do not have any loose skin unless you want to say this is loose but I had this before and yeah, I don't really consider this as loose. Um, my stomach is still looking pretty good. My legs, I felt were getting jiggly. That's why I joined the gym and started working out. But as far as loose skin, I don't have any yet. Um, support system. I see a lot of people that talk about, you know, they don't have a really good support system or whatnot. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the time because I have to do someone's hair today um my support system consists of you guys like my instagram my snapchat my youtube i mean you guys are really my support system you keep me going you guys most likely are on the same journey as i am whether you're pre-op post-op or you know whether you had surgery before me or after me you guys really are encouraging you know you guys are really motivating inspiring so you guys are my support system alongside with my husband my grandparents my parents um my family is super super supportive i mean aunties cousins everybody are super super supportive i'm super open with my journey so yeah i have a strong support system and if you don't all i can say is get into this social media stuff because you will get all the support that you need 
uh, and you need to support you. You are your your biggest supporter, your biggest cheerleader. Trust me. Believe in you. Um, high protein snacks. Like I said, protein shakes. Try to find protein shakes with the highest amount of protein. I was drinking the Atkins before. I had to cut that out because it's only 15 grams of protein. That is completely pointless to me. I will have to drink two of those just to equal up to one of these. And I'm still getting two more grams of protein with this one. So find the highest grams of protein in a shake because a lot of people have trouble even getting down the shakes. So if you have trouble, you don't want to be drinking two of these. You know, these are like 11 fluid ounces. You don't want to be drinking 22 fluid ounces just to get what you could have got in 11 fluid ounces. So pay attention to how much protein is in your protein drink, I would say. I noticed that the pre-mixed ones are a little easier to get down than the powder ones that you have to mix down. I only use powder for my pre-workout protein. I didn't bring it in here, but I use the um, Protein Energy by Optimum Nutrition. I get it from the Vitamin Shop and that has like natural caffeine, it has a lot of stuff to get your energy up, B12. I drink that about 30 minutes before I go work out and I'm telling you it makes all the difference. When I don't drink that, my workout is so hard. When I do drink it, I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, I like I said, I do an hour of cardio at the gym. Now I am on to weights as well. So I alternate days, like Monday will be arm day. So I'll work on arms, shoulders, back, chest, basically all upper body. The next day I'll do legs. I'll do squats. I'll do my calves, um, leg curls, butt. Uh, yeah, everything that has to do with the lower body. And every day I work on my abs. Every day is ab day. Um, yeah, so that is all I do at the gym. So I'm usually in the gym for two hours. Um, maybe a little bit longer if I get into the sauna. Um, I try to get into the sun at least three times a week because it just makes my body feel good after. I feel like it's kind of like a treat. I do belong to 24-hour fitness. Um, yeah, so I go at like 6, 6.30 in the morning, and I'm usually out of there by 8.30 in the morning. And then it's done. Um, I want to say I had some more questions. Let me just check really quick on Facebook. Now, if you guys want to add me on any social sites, I'm going to have them listed below. I would prefer if you add me on Snapchat and Instagram um, because my Facebook is more of my personal, you know, my personal life. It's my family and my friends. Um, but my Instagram and my Snapchat is completely open. So I would prefer for you to... Um, Ask me on there. I think that's all the questions. Oh no. Give me a second. Yeah. I think that's all the questions. So um, I am going to the New York uh, weight loss meetup. That is the weekend of June 4th. I do live in Los Angeles, so I'm traveling from Los Angeles to New York. My goal was to be 100 pounds down by the time I get there. I have four pounds to lose before I fly out on the second. So I believe I'm going to make my, um, my goal, meet my goal. Um, also, I am a size large tops. I am a size large bottoms. I'm sorry, I thought my client was here. I'm a size large bottoms. I am measuring about 38 inches around my belly before pre-op I was about 60 inches around my belly so that is a big big difference oh I did do the flat tummy tea so I do have more questions in here I remember writing that down oh yeah I do so I did do flat tummy tea for four weeks it was okay. I didn't really see much of a difference. I really didn't see more bloating or less bloating. It does. I do understand that it's not to make you lose weight. I understand that it, it does help you lose inches. I can't say that it helped me lose any inches because I lost these five extra inches um, way after the fact. Um, waist training. I did start waist training. I bought the KR Waist Eraser. 
Um, I haven't been wearing it in the last two weeks because like I said, I was dealing with the bloating and stuff. So now I am going to start using it again starting today. I just sleep in it because I can't work out in it. It restricts me too much. But it is very comfortable and flexible. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. So if I didn't answer anything, you guys have any more questions, please leave them below. Um, yeah, please leave them below. Today is Sunday the 15th. I'm going to try to edit this and get this up today. If not, for sure, it'll be up tomorrow. I just want to thank you guys for all your support. I made 400 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to stand up in a minute and do like a full body shot so you can get an idea of what I look like if you don't have me on social media. If you have me on other social sites, you've already seen body shots. I update those pretty often. Um, but other than that, that's it. I'm going to get ready to go. I have a client's hair to do today. So thank you so much. I will see you guys again soon. Not sure when, but it will be soon. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I will probably put my name across the screen so you can follow me there so you can keep, um, you get better updates that way. I'm always on there every day I'm posting. So if you want to keep up with me in a better way, add me on there if you have any questions please feel free to ask me i will answer anything i am an open book and you guys have a blessed day bye see you next time okay okay so i'm back because i realized that i forgot uh, a few more things to mention in my client is running a little late so i have a little bit more time i forgot to talk about something so so important which is constipation which i told you guys and i'm sure every video since i've been post-op that i was having an issue with constipation like severe constipation i was trying a whole bunch of different things i've tried miralax i've tried um milk of magnesia i've tried um ducalex um what i'm taking now is a mixture between smooth move tea at night and it actually does work um i used it years ago but i totally forgot about it so i and i underestimated it so i use it now um i used it twice last week drink it at night in the morning it should get you going so i suggest taking it on days that you don't have to be anywhere early in the morning um and i'm taking ducalex but I was taking the Dugalex that was like the little gel pills at first, but then my grandmother told me to try the uh, Dugalex that's the little uh, orange pills. So now that's the ones that I'm taking and it actually does work. One thing I do want to tell you with the Dugalex, it did, does cause me a lot of cramping. Um, and I've heard that from other people as well. They say it's pain free. It is not pain free. It does cause cramping, but it does get the job done. Um, that one I will recommend you to not have to go anywhere the next day because it is very very unpredictable if you know what I mean. So I am taking a mixture between the little orange tablets of Ducalex and uh, Smooth Move. Now I don't like to take a stool softener on the daily basis so I usually take a stool softener either Friday night or Saturday night because I don't go to the gym Saturday and Sunday those are my rest days so I don't have anything that I have to do on those days during the week I'm pretty busy so I don't need that to slow me down um so yeah that um if you're having a problem with that maybe you would want to try that um and also I told you guys I'm a size large top size large bottoms but if you want to go by uh, number sizes when I went to um trying on some jeans in March I was a size 14 jeans now it is May and I am going shopping um, probably either Wednesday of next week or Sunday um, so then I will get a more accurate uh, measurement and size of what I'm wearing so I'm either going to be a 14 or a below I'm hoping for a 12 if I'm not there yet that's fine but um, I have lost about five to six inches more off my waist since the last time I got uh sized so hopefully I'm a size 12 let's keep our fingers crossed um you know what I'm gonna do another video um it's gonna be a part two 
I don't know how much time I have, so I probably will end this video and start recording the next video. But I want to do a video on how VSG and bariatric surgery, period, could affect your relationship, could affect your marriage. I am married, um, so I do want to let you guys in on a little bit of insight and how serious it is and how prepared you need to be for the changes that will come or that could possibly come. Um, so I won't go into too much detail about that, but just look forward to that video because I, I see a, a lot of that in the VSG community or the bariatric community and I have, um, I have um, some insight about that type of situation. I'm not gonna say if it's good or bad, but I will, I will do a separate video and I will let you guys know exactly what I mean in detail um, because I wanna be 100% honest on this journey. I don't wanna lie to you guys. I don't wanna give you guys false hope. I don't wanna tell you that, you know, it's all just cherries and lollipops it, because it's not, you know, there is some downfalls to this but um, you can overcome them if you're prepared for them and if you, you know how to get prepared for them. Um, another thing I want to say really quick, a lot of people say that I'm very strict on myself. I'm too strict on myself. I should reward myself. But I just feel like I've been eating the way that I wanted to eat for 27 years of my life. I could skip out on a few things, you know what I mean? I can restrict myself now because I have a goal in mind and I feel like no food, no cookies, no cakes, no ice cream, no, you know, no junk food, no fried chicken, no nothing is more important to, than where I'm trying to get, if you know what I mean. You know, I feel like I'm so strict on myself because I refuse to lose. You know, I refuse to go back to where I came from. I've come a long way. I've worked hard for this. You know, we didn't get bariatric surgery just for temporary, like, that would just make it like yo-yo diet and I've lost weight and gained it back before. I'm not doing that this time. You know, when I made the decision to lay on that table and risk my life and get surgery, that was it for me. It was, this is serious business. You know what I mean? I will never let myself get to 307 pounds again. I'm 211 pounds as of today. Once I get to these 200s, I will never let myself get to 200 pounds again. I'm not saying that if you are 200 pounds or if you're 300 pounds, you should feel bad about yourself. I'm not saying that. I'm speaking for me and I know how I felt at that way. I know how I feel now at this way. I feel good right now, but how what I do is I don't get satisfied in where I'm at. I always tell myself it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough until I reach my goal. It's not good enough until I'm at a point where I'm just maintaining. It's not good enough. 211 pounds is good, but it's not good enough because that's not where I'm trying to go. When you find yourself getting satisfied at where you're at, sometimes it slows down the process and it slows down the progress because now you're like, okay, yeah, I lost 96 pounds. Yeah, I lost 96 pounds and I got a whole lot more to go. You know what I mean? It's not like, yeah, I lost 96 pounds. I'm at goal weight. Good. I'm done. No, I got a lot of work to do and I pat myself on the back along the whole way, but I keep pushing. I no longer celebrate with food. I remember at a point in time in my life, everything was based around food. Oh, it's my birthday. Where I'm going to go eat. Okay, me and my husband are going out to the movies. We got to go to dinner too. We're going out shopping. What are we going to eat? Everything was based around food. Holidays, everything. This was the first Mother's Day, I think, that I did not go out for dinner. I did not want to. I stayed home. I relaxed. I took a bath. I even went to the gym on Mother's Day. That's how focused I am. I am not tripping about no food. Like, trust me, I've had enough food in my lifetime that if I didn't ever have another piece of fried chicken, I would be just fine. So, you know, I say that to say, don't allow yourself to get in your own way. You are your own you are your biggest enemy you are your biggest obstacle like you control you it could be a thousand people around me that's eating burgers pizza all this stuff and i don't feel no type of way i don't feel like i want it i don't feel like it's hard to get through it because i have a goal in mind i am so focused you do not even understand i'm so focused that nothing could stop me nothing could deter me and i know that if i fall off that it is nobody else's fault it is my fault so once you get that mind frame and understand that you there's a bigger picture at the end there you know there's light at the end of the tunnel get to where you're trying to get this is supposed to be a lifestyle change and the reason why i say that is because so many people i see i'm in a lot of groups and stuff they have lost the weight but they have gained a lot back 
and that's what I'm trying to avoid doing and I know that it's very possible and that is what I'm absolutely terrified of and that's why I do not practice those bad habits I do not want to fall back into those bad habits I started this journey in July of 2015 when I started options I have been eating clean since then and I plan on to keep going you have to change your lifestyle and you have to change your mind frame for this journey if you do not change those things yes you will probably change them temporarily but it will not be permanent you will slip back into those habits and you will start to regain the weight this is not a magic pill people say that this is the easy way out this has to be one of the hardest things i've ever done in my life this is harder than when i used to lose weight on my own this is so hard it's so hard having a four ounce size stomach you know people don't understand unless you have bariatric surgery you do not understand what it's like to be a bariatric post-op patient so i'm going to end this video there you know i'm not trying to preach to you guys but i am going to be 100 percent honest all of the time i'm not going to sugarcoat this journey i'm not going to tell you get the surgery and eat whatever you want and you're still going to drop weight yeah you will drop weight at first because your body your stomach is small you're restricted but after a while of going back into those bad habits you will regain the weight it is very possible to regain the weight you probably don't understand how but it is and I see it all the time and I feel so sad for those people because now they're trying to do it again and once you're a couple of years you know post op your weight's not flying off like it was three months post off post op six months post op it's not flying off like that anymore you know your body does adjust so just keep that in mind and just you know really take it serious because it really is a serious thing but other than that bye again i'm going to insert this in the video i just wanted to come back and let you guys know that i felt that i needed to say that i felt that somebody that's going to watch this video needed to hear that so have a nice day bye